I will call to order the regular board meeting of the uh, Board of Election Commissioners for the City of Chicago. Good morning. My name is Maricel Hernandez and with me is Commissioner Jonathan Swain. Present. And Commissioner William Cressy. Present. Next item is the consideration of the agenda. Are there any proposed changes? Madam um, Chair, this is this is Adam. Uh, I I think Commissioner Cressy is going to make a motion. A motion. Right. Okay. Um, and Adam, if you would back me up on this, um, uh, I, I I would ask that we postpone agenda item seven C until a future meeting. Uh, is, and seven uh, A. I'm sorry, seven A. No, you're you're right. Seven A and seven C. Both A and C. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, I I propose that we I move that we postpone items seven uh, A and seven C to a future meeting. Excuse me, Madam Chair. Um, I just I just thought it was item C. Oh, it is. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I was right all along. You were. Yes. I apologize. Okay. No problem. So I, I, I do move that uh, item uh, 7C be postponed to a future meeting with the board. Okay. okay. Is there a second on that? Second. Okay. I move and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Okay. Motion passes. Um, we will then uh, proceed with the approval of the regular board meeting minutes of June 8th, 2021. Is there a motion to approve? So moved by Commissioner Swain. Is there a second? Second by Commissioner Cressy. I'll uh, move and seconded. All those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Motion passes. Next item is the executive director's report. Uh, Mr. Holliday. Yes, good morning, Madam Chair and um, fellow commissioners. Uh, as mentioned at the meeting, a walkthrough of the warehouse was had on Thursday, June 10th with the Public Building Commission, along with Dean Fatika as our facility consultant to establish a scope of work for the repairs. Uh, they will continue assessment of the interior of the building for the next couple of weeks. And at that time, uh, the list will be submitted to AIS and I, AIS would then determine and report to us what they can and cannot do because of the funding. Mm -hmm. uh, it was mentioned at a prior meeting that these repairs they wanted to have done by December of this year. And that's for the interior. So the exterior work will be handled by a, a different contractor. Um, on the on June 14th, the assistant director, Sandra Xperi, and I met with Clerk Yarbrough and her general counsel, Jim Nally, just to touch bases on our joint petition program that we share and trying to uniform when sending out upcoming notices about the options for permanent vote by mail status. Uh, we're continuing meetings with our polling place and our ADA team, along with the Equip for Equality and the uh, Department of Justice on our progress of surveys and resurveys of polling place to bring them into compliance. Uh, met with the city and county building man management and their teams on agreements on the maintenance of the property that we, the space that we rent here in this building. Uh, lastly, on Thursday, June 17th, I attended the meeting of the EAC, the U.S. Election Assistant Commission Standards Board, talked about testing and certification, how the board, standard board, board of advisors, and the technical guidelines development committees, how they were established under the Help America Vote Act of 2002. Uh, presentations were given by the election security by CIS, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructural security agency. So they gave a presentation on securities for our election systems. So that ends my report, Madam Chair. And also on the meeting, uh, Lance, he was on the meeting as well. Um, and uh, thank you, Charles. Uh, it was just really nice to see that the Chicago board is representative on the ESC. We've had a representative 
on the EAC for over 32 years. So it's nice that Charles is that representative. Right. I'm glad too. Oh, and I forgot to mention, yes, I was a, me I'm a member of the standards board. So thanks, Lance. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Um, Sandra, our assistant executive director. Good morning, Madam Chair and uh, fellow commissioners. At this time, as part of our continuing preparations for our budget submission, I'm working with Lucretia to make sure uh, staff evaluations are completed in a timely fashion. Additionally, we are continuing with interviews in order to fill open positions. Okay. And how many open positions do we have? We have a couple. Okay. Okay. Um, Sandra, can I ask a question? Sure. So you, you're working with this with respect to the budget and maybe this is the appropriate place or not, but um, have we have a sense yet as to how uh, the pushing back of the uh, primary is going to impact our budget in terms of dollars that we would expect it to have spent this year that we probably won't do to, um, you know, whatever it may be? Uh... If you don't have an answer, that's fine. Just, I'm just curious. Well, isn't the budget, doesn't the budget run from July 1st through June 30th? Yes, so, so we, 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 will have, we have to submit our budget for uh, 2022 by July 16th. Okay. So, and then the budget year starts when? September or October then? January. January. Okay. So, this year, we've, we already have our budget set. For this for, year, for through December 31st of 2021. Yes. And then we have to make certain adjustments to 2022. Correct. Well, no, well, because, uh, 2020 March was going to be the primary. It's just moved from March to January, right? I mean, to June. It moved from March to June, but our, 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 our budget to budget for. 2022, it will include that because the earlier part of uh, 2022, January 13th, they'll start circulating petitions. Then shortly after that, our electoral boards will start. And then those petitions where objections may be filed to those districts within the city, those were uh, by March will start being um, done. So the budget. So I was going to say, Adam. Yeah, so Char this is Adam. As Charles just mentioned, the electoral board would normally be starting in early December of this year for the March primary. So that's one way that the budget's going to change is that we just won't be using that money in December. So we will need to, I think, in about February or March, start the electoral board proceedings uh, or even later. But that's one shift that's going to happen. We've got it budgeted for this December. It's just not going to happen now until later. Mm-hmm. I just, I, I'm not saying that we need to have an answer, but I just wanted to raise the concern to be thoughtful about there may be dollars that were allocated for this year that may not be spent. Um, that does we want to make sure that they're not um, off and that they're reallocated or whatever we have to do with the budget department because of that shift. That's the only point. I agree. I agree. Okay. Um, uh, 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 Madam Chair, um, quick question for uh, for Charles. Charles. Uh, the uh, inspection of the warehouse by the uh, uh, public um, uh, public building commission. Uh, are, are we expecting uh, them to give us a report uh, of what they find and prioritizing whatever repairs need to be made there? Uh, yes, and then I will also send to you and the other two commissioners our our assessment that has been done already with the walkthrough with our facility uh, consultant Dean Fatikas, so you can see exactly what needs what needs to be done. Okay, um, that would be great. Thank you, Charles. Okay. Um, any other questions, comments? Okay. Um, next, uh, we'll go into old business infrastructure projects and changes in election administration and voting equipment. Uh, Mr. Holiday, anything there? Nothing, Madam Chair. Okay. Uh, how about electronic poll books? Anything there? Nothing on the electronic poll books, but the maintenance, uh, preparing them for the upcoming election is underway, if not finished. 
so that's the only thing with the poll books. Thank you. Uh, legislation. Is, Thank uh, you, Madam Chair. Mm -hmm. If I may, this is Adam. The, the governor has signed the omnibus election bill, so now our, our primary is officially moved to, to June 28th for 2022. Um, so I'll continue to be working with staff of various departments to make sure that the board comes into compliance with any of the uh, other matters in that bill, most of the, which the board is already doing. There's some security measures for the IT department and things like moving over to .gov email addresses and website, which we've already done. So we're in pretty good shape, but we'll make sure that we hit all the right deadlines. Uh, also, the General Assembly has passed that bill on, on the elected school board, the bill that I've recently summarized for the board. Uh, it's been sent to the governor who, according to news reports, is expected to sign it, but we're not, uh, not aware that he has yet. Uh, there are also some issues that are being talked about that will be perhaps addressed later in the fall veto session, including uh, the issue of whether non-citizen voters will be allowed to vote in these elections. Currently, the bill that was, has been passed does not include that, uh, but there's a lot of people in favor of it, according to news reports. And so that's something that may be taken up by the General Assembly this fall. Similarly, campaign finance matters. Um, there is, of course, already an entire article of the election code regarding campaign finance that I think should be applicable, but they might want to make some additional rules specific to these school board elections. Um, so other than that, that's pretty much what's going on with legislation at the moment. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. If I may, Madam Chair, um, Adam, quick question. Uh, with regards to the omnibus bill, are you expecting any kind of uh, regulations or guidelines coming out of the State Board of Elections uh, with regards to what's in that bill? Yes, there are some areas where the State Board is expressly directed to uh, create administrative rules and, and others where I'm sure they will for clarification purposes. So, uh, as always, we'll remain in touch with uh, the legislative liaison and other leadership from the State Board and uh, keep an eye on any, any such bills that, or, excuse me, administrative rules that they do establish. Thank you, Adam. Okay. Okay. If there's anything else, Adam? Uh, not for now. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, then, yes, okay. there. Okay. Then we'll proceed with new business. And the first item is a professional services agreement between the Board of Election Commissioners and SKU Corporation. And uh, this is a renewal of the contract with SKU for ongoing maintenance and support of the board's uh, registration computer systems. And we had previously approved the uh, previous <laughs> SKU contract. Um, and uh, this is a renewal uh, for the period of July 1st, 2021 through June 30th. 2023 to provide ongoing support, maintenance, and normal enhancements of various computer systems. And uh, compensation would be $338,100 per year. Are there any questions? If not, is there a motion to approve? So moved by Commissioner Cressy. Is there a second? Second by Commissioner Swain. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Motion passes. The next item is an uh, uh, agree, uh, agreement with Lasker Law Offices for to provide legal services as general counsel to the Board of Election Commissioners. And uh, uh, Adam, uh, been uh, providing us uh, with the legal services uh, for the last two, three years, I forget. Um, the terms are exactly the same. Uh, the term period would be July 1st through 2021 through June 30th, 2022, at the rate of $250 per hour for the services provided by the general counsel. Are there any questions? If not, is there a motion to approve? So moved by Commissioner Swain. Is there a second? Oh, okay. Seconded by Commissioner Cressy. <laughs> Properly moved and seconded. Um, all those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Motion passes. Thank you, Adam. The next oh, item is, 
is the professional services agreement between the Board of Election Commissioners and Dean uh, Fatikas um, to provide um, uh, his uh, continuing work. Um, and uh, the uh, in, the rate of pay would be $70 per hour with the compensation capped at 90,000. Uh, the term is July 1st of 2021 through June 30th of 2022. Madam Chair, this is this is Adam. I, I erroneously sent the uh, compensation cap in, as a $90,000. That was a typo. The compensation is capped at $95,000 as it has been for previous years. Oh, but okay. otherwise, otherwise the information you provided is accurate and I apologize for my type. Of. Okay, thank you. Um, with that, uh, uh, a, a slight uh, amendment, uh, the compensation capped at $95,000 for the year. Uh, are there any questions? If not, is there a motion to approve? So moved by Commissioner Cressy. Is there a second? Second by Commissioner Swain. Properly moved and seconded. All those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Motion passes. Next on item on the agenda is the legal report. Adam. Thank, thank you, Madam Chair and fellow commissioners. And let me just say thank you once again for the opportunity to have another year of serving the board. It is my honor and pleasure, and I'm very appreciative uh, to be able to do this. Um, for the, the legal report, I think basically it's just to highlight that with the recent legislation that's come out, there will be some changes uh, for the next election. Uh, luckily, they've given us ample time to prepare for those changes by pushing back the, the primary date. But there will be work to, to be done, both with myself and, and legal counsel Joan Agnew, meeting with uh, department managers and other staff members to implement some of the changes. Obviously, one of the big ones is going to be this uh, permanent roster for vote by mail. Uh, and there are some others just to make sure that we're complying with the security for our uh, cybersecurity requirements and so forth. Uh, new districting matters for the school board elections and so forth. So there'll be plenty of that ongoing uh, as we prepare for March. And other than that, there's been no recent uh, court decisions of note in regarding uh, election law and no real movement on any of our pending uh, litigation. That's my report. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Adam. Mm -hmm. If there are no further questions, then we will proceed with the financial reports. Uh, we have a balance sheet of voucher listing for the city of Chicago, a 2021 appropriation number 21-04, dated June 22nd, 2021, in the amount of $842,893.43. Is there a motion to approve? So moved by Commissioner Cressy. Second by Commissioner Swain. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Motion passes. We ha also have a balance sheet and voucher listing for the County of Cook 2021 appropriation number 21 04, dated June 22nd, 2021, in the amount of $3,170. Is there a motion to approve? So moved by Commissioner Swain. Is there a second? Seconded by Commissioner Cressy. Um, moved and seconded. All those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Uh, motion passes. Next item on the agenda is uh, public comment. Do we have any requests for public comment? No, we have no request for public comment. Okay. And seeing that we have no requests, uh, do we have uh, a need for executive session? Adam. I have received no request for that, Madam Chair. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, given that, um, I would entertain a motion to adjourn to our next regularly scheduled meeting. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved by Commissioner Swain. Seconded by Commissioner Cressy. All those in favor, please state aye. Commissioner Swain votes aye. Commissioner Cressy votes aye. Thank you, and we are adjourned. Have a wonderful uh, day, and I think.